Well, similar to what we saw in geometry when we're dealing with proofs, if we discover a counterexample, something that renders a statement untrue, not true, then that disproves the entire, let's say, the premise, if you will, or what we're trying to prove. And so in this example, in math, proof by mathematical induction, we're going to be working with a camera example, which can, should kind of clue us in. We're going to find something that's not true. So let's attack this. All right, so the first number in the sequence is 1 squared. And, of course, 1 squared is equal to 1. And so first I'm going to substitute 1 in for n into this equation and see what that yields us and to see if that gives us something that is, in fact, equal to 1. So let's see. we got 1 times 3 times 1 minus 1 over 2. Well, let's see, 3 times 1, and working inside the parentheses, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 minus 1 is 2, so I got 1 times 2 over 2, which of course is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Well, that gives us a true statement. Now, the second number in this series is 2 squared, which is 4, but this is 1 plus 4. So if I substitute 2 in to this expression, and if I get 5, well, that's going to give me a true statement. So we're going to do that one. Let's see. Where do I want to work this? Well, okay. We're going to substitute 2 in for n. So we got 2 times 3 times 2 minus 1 over 2. Well, let's see. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 minus 1 is 5. So now we've got 2 times 5 over 2. Well, 2 times 5 is 10 divided by 2. And that equals 5. So that's a true statement. Because here we had 1 plus 4, which is equal to 5. Well, i got one more I can look at. So let's see what we got here. i got 3 squared, which is 9 third number in the series, 3 squared is 9, so 1 plus 4 plus 9, what does 1 plus 4 plus 9 equal? Uh, well, that equals 14. So now I'm going to substitute 3, in, in substitute for n, the number 3, and see if that yields us 14. And if it does, it would be a true statement. If it doesn't, then I have a counterexample. So we got 3 times 3 times 3 minus 1 over 2. All right, well, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8. So now we got 3 times 8 over 2. And 3 times 8 is 24 over 2. And 24 divided by 2, two is 12. Well, that does not equal 14. So we have a counterexample where n is equal to 3. And we have disproved this statement. I kind of like the counterexamples better when it comes to mathematical induction. I, as I have confessed, I sometimes have a hard time getting my head around this. It's pure mathematics. It doesn't have much application. Maybe that's why I don't care for it that much. But hey, I've done it. You can do it too. Maybe better than me.